Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Hudu London. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoy the contents in this channel. Today I'd like to talk about the shooting that happened in southern Texas a couple of days ago. On the whole, 21 people lost their lives. That is three staffs and 19 students. Oh, I believe it was here. Yeah, two teachers at least and 19 students. This was really sad for the small city in Texas. The 18-year-old gunman was killed on the scene, but now the media is saying it took law and enforcement one hour to come into the building and, sh and shoot down the gunman. It was the border DEA or something the police that did it there off off duty police man so he's a hero definitely all of them are heroes but thank God that he overruled the decision and he he went kind of against orders but he did it for a very good reason This brings us to maybe doing a self-reflection and I hope in this I hope this opens more debates for lawmakers and for the gun law because it's unacceptable like the media said that an eighteen year old could purchase and by rivals and weapons that can, that has killed 21 people, but at the same time, they're not eligible to buy a beer. I hope these unsensible laws come into consideration of changing it because so many parents are losing innocent children over unnecessary laws. Guns are not something that should be permitted to people who are 18 and above just because they've reached the legal age. In mental health and in research, it's, it's a base fact that teenagers his brain cells are not completely developed at that age. The whole development happens through when somebody is 26, 25 years of age, 26 years old. So to be giving them permission to buy not one but two deadly rifles that kill so many innocent children's life is unacceptable. The state of Texas fights for abortion laws, but they're not protecting the innocent children that are already in this world alive. I hope something gets done and these laws change because it's unacceptable to have youngsters who do not know how to some young people do not know how to control their rage and their anger. Weapons is not something that should be permitted for young people. I believe a mental health evaluation should be taken. Personally, that's what I believe, of everyone who tries to purchase a gun. Because these days, nobody is actually doing a self-reflection. Nobody 
is aware even of their mental health illness. This is a serious debate that needs to be discussed. This is not acceptable because since this year started, there's been 412 mass mur murders in in supermarkets, to elementary school, to public places. We need to seriously take mindfulness and awareness to such things because people always, we always say that this wouldn't happen where I live, but it can happen anywhere. The wrong people who have the permission to carry weapons that are deadly, that we, we see, we keep on seeing their destruction is done. Like 10 days ago, it was in Buffalo, Buffalo's New York supermarket, where 18 years old boy went and killed 10 people and injured many other people. And New York labeled it, law enforcement lab labeled it a hate crime. Then we have this young 18 year old boy who shot his grandmother on the face to the woman. I believe there's always symptoms and signs of when, pe when a person is going to commit something like this, a mass murder. And now we are actually getting more evidence that this boy was on the social media talking to a girl from Germany and telling her that he was going to shoot his grandmother. And then he wrote later, a bit later, I shot my grandmother on the face actually, which he did. And then he said, I'm going to go to elementary and shoot children and he went and he did that I wish people took him serious and won the law enforcement I'm sure even like his previous friends are saying they could see that he was acting weird and he was passing threats to them I wish somebody reported him at the start like they say, see something, say something. It could actually save a life, or it could have saved 22 lives. There are many people who are dealing with anxiety and stress and things, mental health illness, especially after COVID, nobody's gone and checked themselves or taken a mental health evaluation. I really feel sorry for those parents who lost their children and their loved ones. May God, may God bless them and make their hearts stronger. I hope this is our mindfulness and awareness. Guys, be alert. Take care of yourselves wherever you are. Because you never know what can happen. That's why it's always important that when we're out in public that we do not have headsets on our ears and such things. Just look at your surroundings, be aware. Sadly, all these things mostly are linked to mental health. I hope we get answers for them soon, especially with the gun laws, because this is unreasonable. So many poor families took their children to school and could not come back and get their children back alive. They should tighten the laws with weapons. They should tighten the security with the school systems. May God bless that small town in southern Texas. Guys, please take good care of yourselves. Be aware, be mindful. I'm sure you all heard that Jose died. Jose and Samamulu, towards this case. 
it is really disappointing because Jose did already warn us from the start all the YouTube YouTube creators that did interviews with him I believe only he had his right to give his statement and his interviews to the TBI and the FBI of Tennessee and nobody else he said he did that but by all the other YouTubers taking interviews no matter what jobs they have or what they do this is a case and a matter for the TBI to solve. Jose said that he has attempted to take suicide before. He said the people knew his history. Everyone who took an interview about him knew the, his history. He said he was suffering of depression. He said he was he's tried to take suicide before. I think that should that should have been the boundaries to stop the interviews because of justice for all going and searching for Jose and then later on the lab and the interview room Chris everyone was taking interviews of him this is a human being who has children his timeline in Samamun Uta's case was irrelevant because that was two years ago. Jose did not have anything to do with this case. The timeline of this case was on the 15th of July 2021. Jose gave us an insight of their lives, but that was one time and that should have been enough. They didn't need to be a seagull, part two and part three and part four. This case belongs strictly to Hawkins County, to the law and enforcement in Hawkins County. This case doesn't belong to YouTubers. This is really wrong. There has to be mindfulness. There has to be awareness. This is the Mental Health Awareness Month. Guys please, take, guys, please take it serious because after losing Jose, I'm not saying it's anyone's fault, but I'm saying it's everyone who interviewed Jose should have been mindful that he was dealing with enough stress. I'm not too af afraid to say that. As a mental health counselor, I find it really, really concerning that there's no boundaries of these cases. These people are not suspects. Even if they're people of interest, Jose wasn't a person of interest at all. His girlfriend sent out the message on the internet allegedly saying that, I hope the, pe the people in social media are satisfied. I hope you're happy. Jose is dead. That is really sad to hear. hear. A family is suffering. She lost her loved one. Jose's children lost her father. Guys, I hope we take this all as a lesson and be have empathy and emotion, emotions. And especially of the YouTube creator who was talking bad about Jose. Don't do that. Jose is dead. He's a human being. May God bless his soul. Justice for someone, all the other victims, like Sincere and Classic. And all the other victims, like Lena Keen and Michael Vaughn and Suzanne Murphy and all of them. Guys, please like, share and subscribe. Be mindful. It's a sad day. Jose's family lost him. Let's learn something from this. This ain't about likes, views. Dora and Candice are human beings. Jose is a human being and nobody has been taken in front of a court where they've been proven guilty. Nobody is guilty still. Guys, we need to be mindful and have boundaries. I said that maybe two months ago about Jose to be mindful and there he is. Let's not, let's uh, r repeat this. It's really sad, it's really sad. He lost his job because pe people gave him bad names. 
They set him against his landlord. He lost his property. He lost his job. This is not fair. This is not right. And this place belongs to the TBI. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a lovely weekend. Take care. Bye.